Hi, in this video I will show you how to solve group anagrams. The question says, given an array of strings, group the anagrams together. You can return the answer in any order. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. So here we see that eat, t, tan, eight, nat, and bat, this is the input but it's being rearranged in the following manner. So we can see, for example, the letters A, T, and E are present in all of them. So they are in a list of their own. And then again here, N, A, T, N, A, T. So these letters are present on in a list of their own. And then we have BAT, which basically uh, there is no anagram to it, meaning there is no word with the same letters existing. So how can we solve this one of the several ways to solve this is to create a dictionary for the letters so what do i mean if we take a look at this list we can say that the letters a t and e are present here so if we use this as a key a t e and append this words here then we have a list so if we split these words, so if we split this word into three letters and sort them, split this word into the three letters and sort them, split this word into three letters and sort them, we're going to get A, E, T. Okay, so we'll see this with the code. So let's create a dictionary. So we use the key value analogy, 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 sorry. And we can say for words in the strings so four words in the string so let me show you. i'm going to do print words so you can see so we get eat t tan eight nat and bat so if we take this eat and we split them so and reorder them in order to do that we just do sorted words tuple and we can say key. We can call this the key. But before I say this the key, I just want to show it to you again. So I'm going to click print. So here we see AET. So what we see here is that EAT, which is EAT, has been split to AET. And TEA has been split to AAT. So we can already see these can be grouped together. Now if we see here, that's also AET. And again, we can see this can be grouped together. So if we use this as a key, and add these words, I think it's eight, then we can return an array of strings grouping together the anagrams. But let's continue. So let's say this is the key. All right, so the key is this A, E, T. So for sake of example, I'm just gonna write it here. It's A, E, T for the word eat, A, E, T. What we can do is go to this dictionary and get the key or create a key. So in this empty dictionary, add AET into it. And then if there are any existing words, get them for me. Okay. Okay. Perhaps this is a bit confusing. Let's say, what, what do you want to add to this key? So in this D key, what do you want to add? You want to add the word. Okay, so you do it as a list. You want to add it as a list. On top of that, if there are existing words in that list, please get them. So that will be this way. So you're going to get them this way as a list. So you can add both of these lists together. So in our case, AET has been added as eat. So if you imagine it, it will be AET and it will be eat. So the next word will be T. So I want to append T to this list. And in order to append T to this list, I need to get eat, append it to T, and add them both to AET. So let's see that. So if I do print D, Let's see if uh, 
we see something. So here we see the first time it was AET eat. The next time this part here, D get, got the word E and appended the next word, which is T. In the next iteration, it was A and T, since A, E, T didn't exist, and it added the word tan. And then in the fourth iteration, it said, oh, the key for A, E, T already exists, so it added eight. And that's basically it. And then it says in the question, return the letters or the original letters. So you just D dot values. Since this here on the left side is the key and on the right side here is the values. And when you say return dot D dot values, you return the values. And since this is the last iteration, it's going to return the values here, ET, then, and bet. And when I hit submit, I get my answer here. If you have any questions, well, it says wrong answer, but you have to click on. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Um, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you've learned something new or you've enjoyed this video. Have a good day.